Hopping in the car and heading cross country for a vacation is something many of us have done. And the most popular is the dreaded 24 hours south to Florida, where Disney World and the warm beaches await. But have you ever considered the sunny north? That's right, Ontario's northwest region is known as sunset country for a reason. And the drive there can be a spectacular one. If you've never taken a fishing trip to Lake of the Woods, I'm going to strongly recommend that you put it on your to-do list. Not just for the fishing, but the journey itself. Look at you go, girl! Woo, that's a good... For August and I, it means a 24-hour drive from where we call home in southern Ontario. But once you break free from the traffic and congestion of the greater Toronto area, the highway is smooth driving with plenty of sights to take in on the way. Ontario has to have some of the world's most scenic areas. And one that always makes me stop and take it in is the incredible views of Lake Superior along Highway 17 between Sault Ste. Marie and Wawa. Speaking of Wawa, it's the place to stop and get a shot with the Big Canada Goose and check out the Gitchagumi. And not far up the highway in White River is the home of Winnie the Pooh. A must-see if you have kids or if you've ever wondered how that story came to be. A trip to the Northwest wouldn't be complete if you don't stop and pay respects to one of the greatest Canadians ever at the Terry Fox Lookout. And on a clear day, you can see the famed sleeping giant resting in Lake Superior. As you head west down the home stretch towards Lake of the Woods, you actually get to go back in time as you cross the eastern and central time zones. This is also where we started to notice the smoke filling the air from the countless forest fires that were burning in northern Ontario. Some stretches of highway were actually closed due to low visibility. This portion of Angler and Hunter Television brought to you by Yamaha ATVs. Sioux Narrows is a great little town on the easternmost corner of Lake of the Woods, and it's home to countless camps and resorts that cater to anglers and hunters from all over the world. Yes, the fishing here is that good. Our home for the next few days is Crawford's Camp. It's a family-run resort that offers modern housekeeping cottages, a beach, and great fishing just steps from Sioux Narrows. If you're coming into Crawford's Camp, you can basically roll in and we've got everything here. We've got boat rentals and guide service for the people that don't want to tow. If they want to just show up and have everything here, it's available. So we've got Rental boats with 50 horsepower, four strokes on them. Everything's rigged up with bow mount trolling motors, graphs, GPS, the whole bit. So you can make it out on this lake and not be scared. A lot of people get intimidated when they think they're coming to Lake the Woods, but it's honestly not that bad. It's, uh, we go over the map with you, we get you set, and you're, you're catching fish from the moment you get here till the moment you leave. Woo! Look at this! <laughs> the camp being located on Lake the Woods like this, I mean, it gives a great option for people whether they're in the city or just off the beaten path for a place to come to the lake. Uh, at this point, I mean, we've seen over the last few years, prices have increased to own lakefront property or be on the lake. Uh, so being able to rent a cottage at a great price is a really good option for people to be able to enjoy that and not have to worry about all the maintenance and all those issues and prices and costs that are included with that. So uh, when you get to the camp, you just walk into your cabin and you're ready to go for the week, night, whatever you want to do. Most of the time people get here and they, they're surprised at what they're catching. They're surprised at the amount. And I mean, I guess it, it's hard for me to understand a lot of clients when they come and they 
are so excited about the fishing because this is what I've known my entire life. I, I don't go on vacation to, you know, fish a lot of spots to know that, you know, catching five, six walleye a day is great where, I mean, you can get out here and on a good day catch upwards of 100, 200 fish. We're open year round and we offer ice fishing in the winter, which we do snow machine rentals and guide service. Lake trout, walleye, crappie are the main targets for most people that want to venture here. And a lot of people find that they have to do multiple trips to cover all these species. Everyone wants to know if they're going to come here, I want to catch a, a monster walleye. I want to catch a monster pike. Like that's why they're traveling. But the main experience is the fact that you can catch everything and you can target big fish if you want to target big fish or you can just go out and bend the rod for an entire day. Now, normally I would have towed my Lund up here and took August out to experience the great fishing that the lake has to offer. But having a good friend that guides on the lake and then also happens to be on the Lund team has its advantages. Jamie Bruce of Bruce's Canadian Angling is one of the most accomplished tournament anglers and guides on Lake of the Woods. I got large mouth spots so secret, the largies don't even know where they are, but. <laughs> <laughs> oh. So Jamie, tell me, what got you into fishing? Yeah? Yeah. Actually? Honestly, yeah, it's a, it's a serious question. Um, believe it or not, my mom did. She's a, she's a fish head, and ever since I was a kid, she always made sure that we were close to water, and. No kidding. Always had a rod and reel around, and. Yeah, she, she was hardcore. Um, when I was a little bit older, actually, we, we uh, made like a boat rack for her minivan and had a 12 foot boat and would go to right. these back, like we figured out that, you know, back lakes were better for for crumpling walleyes. So, no my, kidding. you know, my dad had a regular size boat yeah, yeah. On, on the big lake, but we'd take that minivan with a 12 footer and she built the rack for it. And we'd huck it off and, and go back lake and then she still comes with me once in a while. She's a bit of a meat hunter, so we like, always go walleye fishing. But kind of like what we're doing right now. So you wish they'd bite you like that? I was just having a moment, and then you lost that fish. I was <laughs> digging deep. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Jamie and I made the most of the last few hours of daylight. <laughs> we got out for a quick fish and yep. caught up on things <laughs> while catching some walleye for dinner. <laughs> I'm sure we're gonna have a good time. I'm, I'm looking forward to uh, showing you around again. I know it's been a few years since you've been up here. And yeah, um, it's, uh, I, and tr trust me, I mean, if you catch all the fish and uh, August catches a few fish, I'm gonna be a happy guy. No problem. And August is gonna appreciate it even more. But we're up here for, we're gonna be up here for a couple days. And uh, obviously this was a good way to start things out. Yeah. We'll go back, we'll fry some up. Oh yeah. What are, we having, what are we having with the fish? <laughs> We're gonna do the full spread, I think. Nicely done, all yeah. right. Well, yeah. August is gonna be excited. We'll, we'll have dinner and then uh, it's all about bass for the rest of this journey. That works for me. Yeah. I'm let's sick go of hunting the white tips. Yeah, let's go eat. Sounds good. This portion of Angler and Hunter Television brought to you by Min Kota and Humminbird. Morning came early, so once we hit the lake, we decided that cranking for smallmouth was going to be our approach. There's the business. Look at the color, look at the color. Mm -hmm. Huh, 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 huh. Do I get to rig my rods yet? Oh, you're fishing? <laughs> <laughs> okay, kid. You know, August likes to cast and retrieve. <laughs> Jamie set us up on a spot where we could crank for smallmouth. What? Oh. Are you? And crank them, she did. <laughs> Triple header! Who's gonna net them? Holy oh, like a day! Mine, was a day. Mine was a big one. That was a good one. <laughs> I'm out. I'll get the net. <laughs> Watch this action. Double different, that's a tangle written all over it. <laughs> oh, good thing you netted it. Very... August? There's no dang bass in this lake. Little fatties, eh? Yeah. Good job. Oops, August. <laughs> nice release. Hang on, let me get you yeah. out of the net here. Oh, he's clocking them. <laughs> he needs a net. I need a mini net. 
That a girl run into the scene. Don't fall in the lake though. Boom. In the basket. Thanks, August. There's some bass in them hills. That's a fatter one, eh? You wow. want to switch your color up? Oh, look at that. One? We're all good. We're getting bigger, Michael. Perfect. There's one. That a boy. <laughs> what a beast. Look at me go. Where do you see the size of this one, August? Okay. We're on, we're on. Oh! A 360 to a He's Billy Gooden. Your turn, August. I had one. You got a hog? Mm -hmm. Compared to the one you had on. Yeah, the 360's hooking up the fatties. Oh, yeah. Up Can't the have rocks. Triple crankbaits. What a going. cast, kid. Look at this action. Oh, yeah. Is this like an average day in Lake of the Woods for you? Just yeah. Just pull up to a spot and make multiple. Yeah. Cast and catch you whatever you can. Hmm. Did it jump? Yeah. Oh, is it big? Oh, yeah. <sighs> Breathe. Holy. Can I catch one? Look at these guys. are catching them all around me. It's a good one, August. I'm casting. I should be getting the net for my daughter, but not every day you get to come to the... The motherland. Come to the motherland. Fish them. <laughs> Woo! That's okay. It's gone. Nice work. Huh. I'm getting outfished here. I feel a lot of pressure. You're you guys want to take a break? I brought some good snacks. I already ate all of them. I'm just going to stay up here in cast while you all snack. Brownies, you all. Some you haul. Jammer, um, <laughs> Keep talking. We're going to get sponsored by all these companies. Kool-Aid uh, jammers, brownies, two I bites. Had, um, Goldfish? Yes. Teddy Grahams? Yes, I had some Teddy Grahams. Holy good Are we flipping jigs or throwing cranks? <laughs> Pop tarts? <laughs> that looks like yeah. you were swatting at a deer fly behind my you. my $469 cranking rod. <laughs> I just broke my four hundred and sixty-nine dollar crank and rod by having a sword fight with you there. <laughs> yes. Change, cha change, change. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look at this tree in the water. You ever catch a bass off a snapping turtle on a tree, August? That's a hog. Or am I am I seeing things? Hmm. It jumped. It looked real good. No. Need the net? He's got that weird color to him. Yeah, they just glow. Yeah. They're not as they're not as big as they look. No, oh, they're so strong. Yeah. Just from hammering on them crabs all well, day. Well, they're full of protein. <sighs> yeah, these ones ain't slinking around. Yeah. So he took beaches. a he took a 360 search bait, modified it on a football head. And you use a football head, why? It just wobbles nicer. It stays out of the rocks better. Yeah. Get you a tree? No, no, got I got me a good and off the tree. A base. We're Look on. at this place is jacked, August. <laughs> Woo! Get your clicker. I got me a chain pickerel. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Ooh, there's the odd nice. pike in here. Let me get out of the, I'll get out of the way. You win a football jig. <laughs> I got one. That a girl? Woo! She's smashing them. Oh, look at them all with them. I'm out. See all the fish behind them, August? Yeah. You're I'm gonna grab your other bait here. I'll help you out. You want the net? No, yes. <laughs> Look at this. <laughs> oh, no. This is your rod. This is a children's rod. <laughs> it looks good in your hands. <laughs> Pull your, your who's where's whose fish? This is mine. I got you, kid. <laughs> Thanks for the assist. This on is that mayhem. One. <laughs> wrong hand, wrong rod. I don't know what back. the most fun was. Just. You can just stand there with the net and the flyers and we'll be fine. That's what, I'm, that's what I mean. I'm just going to stand back and watch, be part of the audience. All this from a pile of crankbaits on the deck of your boat. And it's cast after cast. Torpedo. Need to catch a big old muskie now by accident. The Fishing Edge is brought to you by Minn Kota and Humminbird. To get the edge over the fish, we ran the lake in the Lund 2075 Pro-V Bass and Mercury 250 four-stroke Pro-XS. Jamie used his hummingbirds to navigate the waters and locate rock piles and boulders that held fish. We cast Rapala's BX Brat and OG Slim crankbaits on 10-pound suffix braid and 10-pound suffix fluorocarbon leaders using 7-foot-2 medium-action 13-fishing Omen black rods and 13-fishing spinning reels. 
course, a Lucky Strike net and CUDA tools made sure all the fish were landed and released with care. This has got to be the easiest lake on earth to get a limit, eh? Yeah. Fish on. Yeah. That might be a Walter. Oh, heck yeah. If it's a Walter, it's a big one. Walleye, pike, smallmouth, largemouth, muskie. Yep, that's a muskie. Is it really? Lake trout and even crappies. Oh, he saw you coming. He sure did. It's like that place we all dream of. Or say, you know, imagine how good fishing would have been a hundred years ago. <laughs> well, it's real, and it's right here in Ontario's yeah. sunset country. You lake of the woods, you lamb's coming. He's smelling good now. Yeah. Did yeah. you want to eat him or no? Yeah. What's a grand slam? Uh, I don't know. How many pike? species are in here? Well, we got a pike. Sturgeon. That's a, okay. Lake trout. We might get hung up on the sturge. We're in lake trout country. It's true. Everywhere Jamie took us, we caught fish. Lake of the Woods never let you down. <laughs> Susan hit the water. Holy a day, that's a beauty. Susan hit the water. That's, that's incredible. Nice Quit beating on all my fish. Woo, see how fast they dart down, man? There are bullets. Oh, he's, he's coming unpinned. That's a nice one. August, can you net this one for me? It is a good one. Heckin' rights. That's over three. Wait till they just little, little shot. Yeah, he's they shrink because they get closer to the surface. Yeah. Land that sucker. Oh, August. No, get up higher. No, this is, you don't want her netting your fish in the derby. No, I'll take my chances on the boat flip. Okay, kid. Basket. Oh, <laughs> it's oh. not a butterfly, it's what? a basket. Get him. <laughs> Net in the water. <laughs> Net in the water. You're trying to miss it now. <laughs> It's not a butterfly, it's a bass! <laughs> All right, bring it up here. Holy, you put me through a little stress. That's my best fish of the trip. <laughs> oh. That's a beaut. Yeah. Hooks everywhere. Look at the fat guts on these fish. And the little ones are even fatter. They're just swolled up with food. The little ones can't control themselves. That's pretty awesome. That's a nice one. You don't really feel the bite though when you're cranking. No. It's a, it's a strange, it's a strange feeling. And if you're not used to it, a lot of people just troll crankbaits, you know, and then it's like, oh, I got a fish on. But you can cover water, cast the boulders. Like Bruce, he's just running these shorelines with some sand, and then there's the odd boulder. Yeah, just gets a good giver bait. Yeah. Yep, you know, a spinner bait works really good, but a, you know, spinner bait you got to keep moving. With a crank bait, you can. Well, and the other thing is, you get a reaction bite of the crank bait too when it bangs off the rock. That's right. Spinner baits, that yeah. you know, it doesn't really happen. And you can pause it and let it float up. But uh, the new, all these new slim flat-sided cranks, it's kind of a, a, a cross between, uh, you know, like a lipless crank bait and uh, a, you know, a wide wobbling crank bait, and then also. You want your drag kind of loose because they can get carried away. Appreciate it, man. Yeah, it was hey? fun. I don't know if anyone's told you, but you guys are a lot of fun to fish with. No, that's good. Right? Yeah. <laughs> don't be too modest. <laughs> yeah. After a day of catching hundreds of fish, we needed a bit of a break. So the rest of the trip was all about enjoying Crawford's camp and checking out the shops in Sioux Narrows. A vacation in the sunny north certainly is worth the drive. Close